This is Dante Williams. Are you watching? Dante's. 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 Boxing Nation. This is Showtime. Sean Porter. Filipino Flash. Jesse Burns. This is Al Bernstein. You're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. I'm sure you're right. Sergio the last name. Dante. Dante. Dante's Boxing Nation. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, this is Dante the Bronze from Wilder. My name is Gennady Golovkin. And you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Well, yeah. We over here at Dante's Boxing Nation and Deporte Cubano in Big Bear, California with Abel Sanchez. He's giving us a tour of his training camp, his, uh, his what would you call it, Abel? I would say uh, a training school. Hello. Hey, Abel, what's going on, man? Not much. All right, Abe. Now, the last time I talked to you, you pretty much told me that you didn't believe the Danny Jacobs fight was going to happen at all. You said you thought he was going to ask for too much money. You you predicted that the fight wouldn't happen. And now this... It's not um, done yet, is it? Well, no, no, no. It's not over yet. But now, you know, it's already been past 30 days when it comes to the purse bid. And a lot of people are, you know, they're losing hope when it comes to this fight. I want to ask you this. Now, it seems like Danny Jacobs, he came out, at least according to reports, He's saying he oh, hold just... Hold on a second. Let me, put, hold on, let me put my earphones on. Hold on. No problem. I can't, I can't hear on this damn phone. Hold on. Okay. I'm here. Okay. And, and I might sound a little different because I have you hooked up to my, um, my radio audio mixer and everything over here. But, okay. But anyway, um, so now Danny Jacobs, he's saying, according to reports, that he just wants a 60-40 split in favor of Gennady Golovkin. So um, what do you think about that? I think that's ridiculous, man. He's gotta, people got to earn that. If it was Floyd talking, then you can, they can, you can understand it. If it was Canelo talking, you can understand it. But what the hell has Danny done? I mean, the rules are set in place for those exact situations when the challenger is not that, uh, that renowned, let's just say. And, uh, and uh, it, it, it's a... The way they have it set up, the splits is so that that guy gets rewarded with some, you know, not great change, but some good change. What if it was 90-10? Uh, because he's not known. He really hasn't done anything. Unfortunately, the moral fight doesn't qualify him for stardom. But the Peter Quillen fight, I, I was thinking, because obviously I agree with you that obviously Golovkin should get the bigger slice of the pie. But if that is what it takes to make this fight, and as big as this fight would be in New York, you don't think that uh, maybe uh, you guys should budge a little bit and just take the bigger no, slice? No, there? no, no, because then everybody, then every every opponent is going to be doing the same thing. Rules were set in place for a reason. If, if it warrants it, I mean, it's like somebody saying to you, uh, you know what, uh, your company that you got going, is somebody saying to you, you, uh, you know, well, you got to take a less cut. Even though you do all the work, you've been there, you, you took it through the through the growing stages, you got to take a cut and pay, and nobody else does anything to, 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 to do what you do. I mean, there comes a point where you have to uh, be realistic and, and stand your ground. If Danny, look, when Golovkin first came on the scene, when he fought the Prosca fight, he fought it for nothing almost. He fought the second fight almost for nothing. Defenses were made for very little money to earn our, our keep. Uh, and, and, and now that he's there, uh, other people got to earn their keep too. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately for Danny, he said some things in the past, like that magical figure he had in his head. Do you remember that video? Yeah, I remember or that, that magical figure he had in his head. So they get set on a, on a number, and, and, and they don't get off it. Uh, that's the reason a lot of guys uh, are not fighting right now. Gary Russell made comments like that, too. Gary Russell about getting big purses. Well, you got to earn them. The per big purses come from what? Come from uh, people wanting to see you, uh, uh, subscriptions, uh, ratings. All those big purses come from, from that. So uh, when, when they haven't earned it, it's difficult for somebody to, to, to warrant that. Uh, what Danny's, Danny's last fight on the Mora car, uh, when he fought Mora, he was the underneath fight. I don't know, I don't know if he was even shown on TV. And who was the main event? Easter and Kami. No, actually. Are you serious. No, actually, um, Danny Jacobs, he was the main event um, in, the, in the Mora rematch. I, I didn't see the card, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm talking out of my ass because I, I didn't see the card. But uh, just uh, 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 what, was that, what was it at? What was it for? All those things have to come into play when you're talking about what he deserves and doesn't deserve. I mean, I, I, of course I want the fight. I think it's a great fight. I think it's a, a hope between you and I. 
I hope that uh, that it happens because it's a great story. I've said it all along. I said yeah. it to you. Yeah, and I, well, and, and I know you guys want the fight. I, I know you guys want the fight. But let me ask you this: um, I, I I did a poll. I, I did a poll, and um, all the fans they voted. Of course, a whole lot of Golovkin fans and everyone, you know, all other different kind of fans. And eighty percent of them said that Golovkin should take the sixty percent uh, split. Does that surprise you that the fans will say that? Now, what surprises me is you're polling people that have nothing to do with this game. You're polling people that have nothing to do with earning a living in boxing. You're polling people that have not uh, done any kind of sacrifice to get to a certain point. You're polling people that got that they're sitting behind the typewriter that have no clue what it takes to get to this point. So no, I, I'm not surprised. But you know what? That's 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 great that those people said that. But at the end of the day, those people are not going to climb the ropes. It's Golovkin is going to climb the ropes. Mm. So, I mean, so you believe it's worth walking away from this fight if Danny, he says, you know, I'm firm on 60-40. Is 60-40 a no fight? You guys are, are, are perfectly okay to walk I, I, away. I, be, I believe that whatever Tom and, and the Herman brothers decide that's best for us, my personal opinion has nothing to do with what happens in the outcome of this. Okay, but if, if I was the one making a decision, you have to earn that myself. Mm -hmm. That's my belief, but it's it, but it's not it's not my decision. I, I I when they tell me it's done, we'll get we'll get it. In fact, Golovkin comes into the gym tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. Uh -huh. when, when he comes into the gym, we start working. We're gonna work for somebody. Hopefully, it's Danny Jacobs. But uh, Danny Jacobs chooses not to fight. He can go fight at Reading, Pennsylvania again for a hundred thousand dollars. That's all right. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and that may actually happen if he doesn't get this fight, which is. Unfortunately, which is crazy. He's got a chance to fight for four belts. Yeah. He's got a chance to fight for four belts. That's unheard of, man. That's just, you know, he earned that right to get there, but now he can't be obstinate about it. He's got a chance to make history. If he honestly, truly believes that he can be Golovkin, like they do, which we all have to believe in our hearts when we're the challenger, that we can win. If he honestly believes it, and Andre believes it, he's fighting for four belts. Can you imagine who he is after this fight? If he beats Golovkin? Yeah, I've I've yeah. said it. I, I've said it in a lot of videos. So, who, so who's the one that's got to who's the one that's got to take a step back and say, you know what, I want the fight. Who's the one that's got more to gain than to lose? Take a sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Well, then why are we having? The, why are you asking me those questions? We're having the. Do you think it's right that we turn it down or that it doesn't get made? It's not up to us. It's well, not up to us. Well, I mean, I've already asked. Well, at least um, some of my colleagues, you know, have already asked Danny Jacobs the same questions, but um. Right. I mean, you know, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. No, it, like I said, it, it'll just be unfortunate. I mean, I, I just truly believe, like I just said in my previous video, if he were to beat Gennady Golovkin, then he could ask for a lot more money in a possible rematch. You know, then, well, you know. He could, he could turn us down unless he got the world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, he's in, he's in command. He's got, he's got everything. Now. Now he's got the chance to go after Saunders and be the unified champion after, after Bernard Hopkins. Could you imagine how big that is? That's huge. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, now let me ask you this. Let's say hypothetically the fight doesn't happen. Danny Jacobs, he goes after Billy Joe Saunders, Canelo, uh, Chris Eubank, and he beats one of those guys. Then he comes back to the table and he says, okay, my stock has risen. I want 60-40. No, well, wait a minute. If he, if he beats Billy Joe Saunders, that's the fourth belt. He's a champion. Mm -hmm. So the well, he's the regular W. Well, he's the regular WBA champion right now, right? I mean, I know yeah, Golovkin's yeah, a yeah, super. Yeah, but he's not recognized as a champion. You and I both know that he's not recognized as a champion, the middleweight champion. He beats Billy Joe Saunders. He is the middleweight champion of the WBO. He's not the WBA middleweight champion. Golovkin is. He is an interim, or and I'm sorry, a regular. That's normally the mandatory. Okay, they but uh, the WBA is trying to eliminate all those ridiculous belts that they put together. But now, if you beat Billy Joe Saunders, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Mm -hmm. Now he's somebody because he's a world champion, legitimate world champion that people recognize as the of the. There's four organizations that are supposedly legitimate right now, and he'd be one of them. I mean, that's big. That is, in big. my opinion, anyway. No, that, that is big. That is big. Now I have to ask you, uh, what was the split between Golovkin and Kell Brook? You know, that's, that's like me asking you how much you make every year. Come on. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a crazy question. That's, that's something for Golovkin to, to uh, 
his personal his 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 personal uh, life is 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 not open to the public. Or that's part of, part of his personal life. What gets posted, I know that you know, being in this business for the while, for the time you've been in it. I know you know that whatever gets posted is, is generally not the true amount. I mean, and even in, even in Vegas, even some of the Mexican fighters, some of the Latin fighters, you know, they posted. Brand fought. Uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Andre Ward, and got 30000 according to the commission. Well, you know that that's the truth. You know that that's maybe for tax purposes, you know. So so there's a lot of numbers that could be thrown about that are not necessarily true. But, again, that's, that's the Lovkins. It's like you're asking me how much I made last year. I mean, it would be ridiculous for me to tell you because that's none of your business. Well, I mean, but I was only asking that because I was trying to get a gauge and compare to what, you know, Danny Jacobs was asking for. You, you know, can't cause... compare Danny Jacobs to Kel Brook. For a lot of different reasons. Why, why not? Why? Because Danny Jacobs couldn't draw what Kel Brook drew in England. We did 500,000 bodies. Okay, and a lot of it was because of Kel Brook, because he's a very popular guy there. So you can't compare Danny Jacobs when Danny Jacobs is fighting in Reading, Pennsylvania. For, uh, on, 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 on a minus channel or on a small channel where he's not making that kind of money. You can't compare when he doesn't put asses in the seat. It's two different, two different, two different people. Yeah, but Danny Jacobs, he would bring a lot of fans to New York. I mean, you do agree with that, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Well, absolutely, he would bring a lot of people. I don't think he... I, look, what, the last time that he fought at the Barclays, how many people did he bring when he fought Cullen? And Cullen was a, was a New Yorker, too. Was it 12,000, 8,000? How many people? I think it was about 8,400. So, so the, you got two guys from New York at the Barclays right there in their home, hometown, and, and they couldn't fill it up. But the fact that Golovkin... You got a guy from Kazakhstan. You got a guy from Kazakhstan, from Karaganda, from all the way across the other side of the world, who's been on both coasts and on the other side. That's a different conversation, though, right there. I mean, we, we, <laughs> okay, well, it's a different... We know. So you can't ask me how I, how I compare Brooke and, and Jacobs because it's a different conversation. No, but, I mean, because what I'm saying is, of course, Gennady Golovkin, he's a fan favorite. Yeah, I mean, no matter, no matter where he comes from, he's, okay, he's, a, so he's a, a fan, fan favorite. favorite. Because a fan favorite big... Brings people into the into the arena and and and, and people want to go see him fight. Uh, I don't see how unfair to stick by the rules that have been in place for for I don't know the 80s or something like that. Other other champions and other challengers put up with it and, and dealt with it, and and Danny Jacobs can't. You talking about the purse? You talking about the purse? Yeah, split. The, the split. Yeah, yeah, split, yeah. 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 If he really thought that he could beat Golovkin, and if he really thought that he wanted to make history, if he really thought that he wanted to show the people of Brooklyn uh, that he could do this, then he would fight uh, for whatever it was that was offered to him. In this particular case, it was being offered is what's been set for a long, long time. Now, if you said to me that Golovkin offered him 80-20 or 90-10, I would say, no, that's not fair. Because mm -hmm. that's not the rules. Yeah. But... I mean, like you said, it's going to be seventy-five twenty-five if it goes to a um, you know um, a purse bid. But so so now that makes me wonder what was the offer before that. That's that's kind of what that makes me wonder now. What okay, was the well, offer before the purse split? That's a question you have to ask Danny because Danny's the one that turned it down. I didn't turn it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, but but understand this: that if if Danny is ask if Danny is asking for that money that we think we've been reading that we've been thinking about that it is. Uh, that means that if Al wants to win the purse bid, he'd have to bid $12 million? Is that fight going to generate $12 million? So if it goes to purse bid, Al, if Al wants to win the fight for Danny, he'd have to bid $12 million so that Danny, Danny could get his three. Yeah. So now, so, so now uh, how, does it warrant, how does it warrant Danny asking for that kind of money? Now, uh, let's just say that uh, it was $2 million, okay, that, he was, that he was asking for. Uh, that's, that means he's got to bid $8 million? Who's going to bid $8 million? Heavyweight fights don't get that kind of money. You know, I, I see it both ways, Abel. No doubt about it. I see it both ways. Yeah. I, and so I, now, so, so let me ask you: What do you think if it if, if it went to purse bid and Danny took a chance? Let's just say, what do you think Danny would accept today for for him not to have to accept whatever purse bid ends up being? If it ends up being that the purse bid is four million dollars by whichever promoter it is, that means Danny's take is a is a million. You think he's been offered more than a million? I think so. I don't know, but I, I think so. So he would he would be in a short end of it if it was, if he got four million. If in that four million, think back on how many fights in the last couple of years, uh, any weight that you that you know of that went to purse bid that generated that kind of money, four million dollars, three million dollars, two million dollars. So what's Danny's take gonna be? Yeah, well it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot less if it goes to the purse bid. Okay, so what does he do then? 
what does he do? Does he vacate the title? He vacates and he doesn't fight. And, and okay, I mean, so, and that's what Danny said. They they said that before. They said if it goes the purse, but you know, um, to a purse bid, they're not going to take the fight. They pretty much said okay, that. Okay, know. well, there's rules in place. There's rules in place for everybody, not just for Golovkin, for everybody, for every organization, for every title at stake, for every fighter. There's rules in place that 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 they've said for a long, long time for this particular situation. Now, if Danny doesn't take the fight, that's his choice. But he worked himself all the way to that point not to take a fight, not to take a fight that he thinks he can win? It doesn't make sense. You mean, that that you right mean to there. Tell me, you mean to tell me now we're going to get on Golovkin because he's got two belts. He won two belts in one year. Like, people giving him up. Didn't have to fight him. And now we're going to blame it on Golovkin because, you know, he's fighting a bunch of bums, as, you, as most of the media would say it. But now, two guys, two champions give their belts up and refuse to fight him. And that's, in one year. And that's the reason why everybody wants to see this fight and they feel that it's a, it's a big step I, up for... for I, I've, said it, I've said it from the beginning and I said it to you. I think it's a great fight. I think this fight and the Canelo fight for Golovkin are defining fights for all three guys. Mm -hmm. All three guys are going to be... To me, those three names right there are the, are the Hagler, the Duran, the Hearns, the, the Leonards of, of, of those eras back there. Mm -hmm. But they have to fight each other. But but they have to fight each other just like uh, uh, when uh, when Floyd fought uh, Oscar. Floyd took nothing. Am I wrong? Yeah, yeah. I, I've okay. said it tons of times. Yeah. Okay. Floyd took nothing, and Oscar made the the biggest biggest payday he ever had. And Floyd took nothing, but Floyd invested. Mm -hmm. Floyd invested in the future. And he won the fight, and he became the new cash cow just because he won the fight. So the that's what I'm trying to the say. Risk, the risk the risk paid say. off. So if it was good enough for Floyd. To my opinion, one of the greatest fighters of our time, and still is. If he came back, he still would be, until somebody uh, beats him. If he could do it, undefeated man had never been knocked out. Undefeated man, he could do it. He could sacrifice himself and his ego to make history. A guy that's been knocked out eight fights ago can't do that? I, I totally agree. I use the exact same example. I, I totally agree with that. I mean, I don't really see, like, like I said, I, I'm looking at it both ways, I guess, you know, from a, a boxing fan perspective and a reporter. You, the fact that, you know, you have Danny Jacobs, he's asking for something. You have Golovkin, who feels he deserves a certain. No, 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 no. We're not asking for any more than what the rules are. It's not what he deserves. It's what the rules are. No, but I'm saying before the purse split, before, before the purse bid, you guys were okay, negotiating. So, okay, so there okay, was something. So, so, if, so if it doesn't come true because of the negotiations, let's go just by the rules. Yeah. And by the rules, he gets less. And, and, and that's the reason why a lot of people feel it benefited Golovkin and, and you guys to not even negotiate and just let it go to the purse uh, bid, right? No, I mean, I'm not in the middle of that. Okay? I'm not in, honestly, I trained the young man. And, and, and um, he's in the gym with me for 10 weeks. I train him. I get him prepared for the fight. Those all things are done by Tom and the, by the Herman brothers. When they, we have to be a team just like everybody else has a team. And we have to trust that they're doing the best for us. Mm -hmm. Just like they have to trust me that I'm training this young man to be the best for all of us. Uh, so um, uh, if, they, if they couldn't come up with an agreement, uh, I'm sure that it was because it was not in our best interest. If Danny didn't uh, come up, didn't agree with what they were trying to do for him, well, then it wasn't in Danny's best interest. But you know what? That's up to Danny. That's up to Danny. It's just, it's up, it's, it's, and it's up to us not to take it. It's up to Danny not to take it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But uh, it's unfortunate for us as fight fans, because I'm a fight fan too. It's also for us as fight fans that we need to have those fights uh, happen because it's good for boxing and it's good for tomorrow. Okay, let's just say Danny and, and, and Golovkin go 12 rounds and it's a great, drag out fight shit could you imagine what the second one would be mm -hmm. yeah same thing with canelo same thing with canelo if it was a drag out fight it could be a vasquez marquez it could be a barrera uh morales um you know there's so many great trilogies out there uh muhammad ali and joe frazier i mean it, it, it's gonna make money and it's gonna make more money in the future you just you just have to understand that um People work up, it's just like if it was the shoe was on the other foot and, and, and uh, Jacobs worked up to that, uh, to, that, uh, to that point. Would he be given it? Of course he not wouldn't be given it. In, in, terms, in, in terms of uh, TV ratings and, and views and generating money, do you believe that Golovkin versus Danny Jacobs 
would do better numbers, TV ratings and everything, than everyone else you guys faced before? Just your opinion. Not, not everybody that we fought before? Yes. Like on HBO, of course. Not pay-per-view, uh, but... I, w I, would say, I would say it would be less. How much more, I don't know, but I, don't, I wouldn't say it would be a less. Uh, I think that Danny's a good story. I said it from the beginning. I told you. The fact that he's a cancer survivor right there, right there, right there, tells me that there's going to be people tuning in just because of his story. And they'll probably promote it that way. HBO will probably promote it that way uh, as well. And they'd be foolish not to. Mm -hmm. but, but then again, Floyd Mayweather had a great story when he fought Delahoya too. Yeah. Okay, so... But that's why I believe... That's why I believe that it would be the biggest fight. I, I believe that this would, you guys would draw the biggest numbers against I don't think Danny it'd be bigger Jacobs. than Canelo and Golovkin. I think oh, Canelo no, 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 no. I'm talking about, I'm comparing Danny Jacobs to Golovkin's previous opponents on HBO. Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't film him. Don't film him. Okay. You can do that. Go ahead, but don't film him doing that. Yes. Go ahead. I'm sorry, then. Okay. No, I, I, was, I was comparing Danny Jacobs' numbers to previous Golovkin opponents. I was saying that, you know, Danny Jacobs, I believe that he would help Golovkin generate better numbers than Golovkin has against previous opponents. Do you Dante, come on, come on. Listen to what you're saying. This young man fought in England, sold out in 11 minutes. This young man fought at uh, Square Garden, sold out both times. This young man fought at the Forum, sold out both times. How can it generate more numbers than what he's doing? Jacobs hasn't done that. Yes, it's going to be a better fight. Yes, it's going to be a middleweight that everybody respects after he, before he gets knocked out. But uh, that he's going to generate because it's Danny Jacobs? No, it's a love kid. But I'm talking... I, I, he, like, did, he had weighed, he had weighed, and he still sold out. Yeah. He had, a, he had a guy that you guys are crucifying a welterweight supposedly in England and sold out in 11 minutes. It wasn't because of... Uh, just broke, and it wasn't just because of the way, it was because of Golovkin. So if he fights uh, Jacobs, it's not going to be because of Jacobs, because Jacobs couldn't draw numbers in, in, when he fought and ready. I, I, but, but I'm able at the same time, it reminds me of when Margarito was a monster, when, when he was, you know, the best welterweight, Shane Mosley. And I'm not saying, you know, Danny Jacobs is as big as Shane Mosley, but Shane couldn't sell tickets either when he, was, when he wasn't fighting against another star. So when, he, when Shane would fight, he wouldn't sell tickets. But when Margarito fought Shane, they end up breaking records at the Staples Center. You know what so I mean? We're so we're supposed to bring Danny along with us on the ride because Danny can't sell tickets. That makes no sense. Well, I mean, that's what happened with Willie Monroe. I mean, Golovkin, no, he fought Willie Monroe, and you guys sold out the arena at the Forum. So I, I'm thinking it would yes, have to be Willie, bigger than that. But, but William Monroe wasn't asking for the moon like Danny is. We're willing to fight Oh, yeah, Danny, I, no, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Willie, he wasn't asking for anything. No, Willie wanted an opportunity. Yeah. But Willie still wants an opportunity. He wants Canelo, and he's willing to fight for, for whatever to get an opportunity. Yeah. I mean, once again, I, I, I agree with you to a certain extent that, that Danny Jacobs, he should take the risk. I, I was just saying that I truly believe, regardless of how you guys do the split, I truly believe that the TV ratings, I wasn't even talking about selling out arenas and how quick they sell tickets. I believe that Golovkin will do bigger TV ratings against Danny Jacobs than, than anyone else. That's just what I, I believe because I know he well, did like a million. As, he did like a I million. Said it, Dante, as I said a little while ago, he is a story. He is a story, but he's not a, he's not a story without Golovkin. Oh, no he's doubt. A, no doubt. Okay. He's a story, so that's why he's going to sell. He's going to sell. They're going to be able to sell because he's a story. Mm -hmm. But just because he's a story, fighting anybody else more is not going to draw. He needs Golovkin to, to make him draw. Golovkin doesn't need Jenny Jacobs. Yeah, yeah. Well, but but, well, but I'm I mean, telling you, but I'm telling you that if Floyd, if Floyd Mayweather was was, was smart enough, and, that, and that's a word, very important word, was smart enough to understand what his future was and what it could be, he did what he needed to do. To be right now where we all envy him. I mean, all fighters envy that man. Not mm -hmm. because of his money, but because of his stature, but because of who he is, because of how smart he is, because of the businessman that he is. And the, and the pound for pound fighters that he beat, too. He beat a lot there, of there fighters that were on pound for pound. You so you, you mean to tell me Danny's not that smart or his people are not that smart? They're trying to cash in, is what they're trying to do? And you know what? That's something that Danny Jacobs needs to answer and respond to. Gary, Gary Russell is saying the same thing. That means Gary Russell's not going to be fighting? 
because Gary Russell can only, you can only pay what they generate. Now, Gary Russell fights Lomachenko again, big numbers. Mm -hmm. But Gary Russell fighting, or just asking for big money before you even announce a fight, is kind of, to me, it's kind of ridiculous because these guys got to understand where, the, where that money comes from. It comes from you and I paying for tickets, you and I paying for pay-per-views, you and I paying for HBO subscriptions or Showtime or whatever it is that we're paying for. But if we don't want to see them, uh, we're not going we're not gonna to watch. We're not going to watch. I wanted to respond to when you said you guys don't need Danny Jacobs. Now, you guys may not need him for financial reasons, but in terms of respect, climbing up the pound-for-pound -pound ladder, and for Golovkin's reputation, I feel this is a perfect step up in competition. Let me ask you a question. Do you think we'll ever fight Canelo? Well, that's a tough question right there. All I can say is I know if it was up to Golovkin, the fight would happen. Okay, but if we do, you're talking about what? Uh, maybe a year down the road or uh, something like that, right? Something like that, yeah. Okay, so if Golovkin stays busy, Golovkin stays busy fighting the next guy in line because of obligations, it doesn't have to be Danny Jacobs. It could be the next one in line, the next one in line. It could be Toronto Johnson gets better when he fights. It could be that uh, uh, that little short, uh, what is he, uh, Ukrainian? Uh, um, Kurzitsa, yeah. Avondale yeah, Kurzitsa. That's you know, what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we've got three or four names that he could fight without Danny Jacobs. So by the time next year comes around, he's already had four fights. We're still going to fight Canelo if we're going to fight him. We don't need Danny Jacobs. The deal they make today for Canelo does not hinge on Danny Jacobs. You're saying, if you, you're, you're saying assuming you get the Canelo fight. That's no, what you're assuming, saying. Assu assuming that they are negotiating, which from all accounts that you hear and that you read, because I'm not there again, I'm the coach, but uh, assuming that, that uh, they're negotiating, they make a deal for next year, it has nothing to do with Danny Jacobs today. Am I wrong? No, no, not at all. Okay. Not at all. So if they get so that Canelo fight, then you so it definitely... it doesn't matter who we fight. So it doesn't matter who we fight. We can fight three or four fights, and they make a deal today or tomorrow before the end of the year. We're still going to get Canelo for the same amount, the $10 or whatever, $11, $6, whatever it is that they decide that they're going to pay uh, or they're going to agree on. We're going to fight him regardless of whether we fight Danny Jacobs today. So what, what does Danny Jacobs mean to get off the But I'm saying... <laughs> I'm saying for now, since you guys haven't got the Canelo fight and you don't really know if Canelo is going to take that fight. Yeah, but they're negotiating that fight for the 17th, of, oh, for September of 17. Oscar said it, Tom has said it, uh, that, that they're okay. negotiating. So if they're, if they're set on that date of September next year, it doesn't matter what we do today. It doesn't matter who we fight in the next three or four fights because they're going to have a number already set for a year from now. When it comes to the fans, though, wanting to see because i see where you're coming from i see where you're coming from you don't have to fight any you don't have to take a serious serious you know um no but golovkin wants to though but golovkin wants to golovkin wants those challenges but wants those challenges when it's when they're wanted by him by them by everybody else if, mm -hmm. if danny doesn't want it that's okay honest. we'll go on to the next one mm -hmm. and it, i mean it, i'm fortunate for me and for you and for all fight fans that want to see great fights but um i told you a month and a half ago that it wasn't going to happen. I told you why. He was going to price himself. I told you the comment that I said to you was, there's a lot of ways to turn on a fight. You remember that? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. You sure there's do. a lot of ways to turn on a fight, and this is another way. Chris Eubank Sr. found his own way. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.